Hi, I'm Katie Freeman with Freeman Furnishings, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I took this spalted maple log slice, carved it into a bowl with a resin finish. Let's go ahead and get started. From sapling to heirloom, every piece has a story, and it's our job to share that story. So this project I started with a slice of spalted hard maple that I picked up from one of the local sawmills that I visit frequently. And this piece happens to be one that he kind of just threw in and said, hey, you know, I'm going to throw this in the firewood pile. If you want it, you can take it for free. So that's really nice. And I like working with these little slices to make card bowls just like this one. For my carving, I do it all with an angle grinder. And specifically, I use the King Arthur tools for any of my carving. On this project, I just used one of their tools. The coarse Holy Galahad is what I did all of the work with. Um, I really enjoy using this tool. It's easy to maneuver and to get the shape that I want. It's not overly aggressive. Um, and it just makes it really quick to get the um, carving done. As you can see, I used two heavier pieces of wood, one clamped down to try to uh, keep the amount of me chasing the bowl around on the table to a minimum. And then for sanding, I'm using an ArborTech contour sander. Uh, it works really nice to uh, kind of do the finish shaping, to level everything out, and to get to smoothness. So I sanded all the way up to 220 grit to prep it for the finish. I knew I wanted to do a resin finish on this bowl because I really liked the idea of a wood bowl that seemed like glass. So to do this, I just used a hot glue gun to glue the bowl down to a turntable to make it easier to apply the finish. And this is an Ecopoxy 2 to 1 liquid plastic finish. Um, I don't recommend using this e uh, kind of Ecopoxy for this application in the future. I definitely learned my lesson with that. They have another one called UV epoxy, which is much uh, thinner and it has a um, quicker cure time than this one does. Anyways, I used their tints and their metallic powders that I mixed into the epoxy to get uh, various uh, colors and I did it in layers so you can kind of see everything pull through on the finished product. Um, I did thin layers each time, letting it cure in between each layer and doing sl um, slight sanding with 220 grit uh, to get any imperfections out. And then I used a torch to remove any bubbles during the work. I'm really happy with how this bowl turned out. And if you liked this video and would like to see some more of my projects in the future, please consider hitting subscribe to my channel now. All of the links for the products used will be down in the description below. In addition, if you like the content that I produce, such as these videos and blog posts, please consider heading over to my Patreon page and becoming a patron. I have five different levels. The lowest one starts at just $1, and all of them come with a thank you gift to you if you become a patron. I really want to continue to offer all of my content for free to anyone who could use it. And in order to do this, I have created the Patreon page to help me out. There's absolutely no pressure, but please consider it. Thank you.